these two women dressed to be noticed. They, that when Nicola Sturgeon was made first minister, she completely changed the way she looked. She cut her hair in a fashionable style. She had it blonded. She started wearing lots of makeup. She started wearing power suits that had matching shoes. Theresa May has always worn outrageously fantastic clothes, um, usually by the, the designer Amanda Wakelin. She's always front row at the fashion shows. So these two women care about the way they look. They dress to get noticed. And I don't think these two women are leading a country. They couldn't ever, ever be described as victims of sexism. What this was about was a number of MPs who have actually been attacked by the Daily Mail at various times and hated. Miliband, Harmon, Morgan have been attacked by the Mail. This was their, this was a good excuse for them to have a bash at it. Yeah, I don't mind people commenting on, well, she's wearing that, she's wearing it. That really doesn't bother me. Mm. I equally don't mind banter and a jerk. The thing that hacked me off is that we're in a really sensitive political time at the moment. So that meeting, you've got Nicola Sturgeon, she's really quite upset at being you know, left behind or, or being excluded from the conversations. Angry. So it was a really important meeting. And what I, what I took um, a uh, thing to, yeah, offence to, was that this, the headline I've just described, was front page news and it was never mind Brexit. Now, if inside the pages they wanted to have some level of conversation about what people wear, I don't care. But putting it on the front page and saying never mind Brexit, I just thought it was embarrassing.